Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in, and I'm assuming you're watching because your refrigerator is not getting cold anymore for whatever reason. So I'm going to show you what I've learned how to do that seems to fix the problem most of the time. It's the only thing I've found that fixes the problem. So, first off, this is the model, Norcold model 2010, or I'm sorry, 1210. It's right there on the inside of the door, right here, model number, 1210. Here's the basics. This readout does two things. It shows you diagnostics of what's going on with your refrigerator. It also just shows you uh, whether it's on LP and what the temperature is. That's your normal mode. Right now I'm in diagnostic mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. Hold that button to let go. It's now off and now turn it back on. That puts me in the regular mode. This is what most people see all the time. They, know any, they don't know anything else. Okay, now let's go into diagnostic mode. You know what these things are. This is your temperature, uh, 1 through 9, and this is your mode, LP electric. That's pretty straightforward. And this is your display. To keep things simple, uh, when you're pushing buttons here, especially when you're pushing two at the same time, wait till there's just a dot, because if you push them and there's still something up here, it may be adjusting that. Uh, you may be adjusting it unintentionally. Okay, so we're going to go into diagnostic mode now. I'm just going to hold these two down, press them as quick as you can, just hold them down and wait till number one shows up and then release. So here we go. I'm going to hold down. There's the number one release. You now have 88. You're in diagnostic mode. There may be error codes in here. There is a page within the diagnostic mode where you can clear errors. Uh, I don't know if there are errors. Usually I don't care if there are errors. I just know that I want that temperature to change. So I'm going to go to page number six. So just push this until number six shows up here. One, six. And you'll see that this ER shows up, which means you're on the page that you can clear any errors that are in there. Now, if you use the PDF file, I'll put a link at the bottom where you find your owner's manual that may be different than this model, but if you can see the error codes, this will display them. You can go through that and look before you clear them, because once you clear them, uh, you're not going to get them back. So, I'm now going to clear any errors that could possibly be in there. To do that, you simply hold the set button. Hold this down until CL shows up. Any error codes have now been cleared, and the, the electronics have been reset. The control electronics have been reset to normal. Okay, now I'm going to hold this again until ER shows up. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. It's like you're going back to your error page, right? You're out of the clear mode. All right, now I'm going to get back to my regular mode like I like to see. If you want to do that, I would suggest you do this. Just turn it off. There it goes off, and now restart. This is almost like rebooting, just to make sure things are cleared up. And I'm starting from square one, so now I'll turn it back on. There we are. We're back in AC mode, the normal mode everybody looks at. All right. Now, did it fix anything? Ugh. Let's look at that temperature again. Wait till that goes out. Don't do anything until that goes away and you're back to a dot. Hold these both down again. There's your number one. Let go. 88 shows up. The temperature of those fins is on screen number three. So I'm going to go until I get to number three. And there's 26 degrees. It shows up. That's what I do to clear any kind of error codes to see if I can get this thing to start cooling again. And it's worked every single time. I'm not sure if there are error codes. I don't know how it fixes it. <laughs> These refrigerators are a little like voodoo. So the other thing is make sure that these doors are closed all the way. They're, they're snapped closed, okay? If somebody just goes like this, it, it may start beeping in two minutes, even if it's partly closed like that. I don't even trust that. I push here and make sure that they are both closed tight because that could be all that's driving your temperature up. Make sure your doors are closed and do this and see if that fixes your problem. Good luck and thanks for watching. I'll include a link to the PDF file that shows these instructions in text. Thanks for watching.